Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a really good home defense weapon that I've had for years, but I wanted to go back over it because I think it's just that awesome. And if you ever come across one and maybe you're thinking about buying one or in the market for buying one, I would recommend yes. But today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Taurus Judge, uh, the public defender. This gun is like a mini hand cannon. It's a, it's a beast of a gun. Snub nose, I think it's like two and a half inch barrel. Um, when I first got it, and Taurus, I just really like Taurus. But when I first got this gun, I was nervous about shooting it because I've had some smaller guns break some of my knuckles, it feels like. <laughs> so I was like, imagine what this is going to do. However, I was reading the the manual and they said that Taurus had designed this gun's um handle to absorb the impact now the first thing i thought before i shot this was that's nonsense i'm gonna feel it it's gonna be a knuckle breaker that's what it's gonna be and it was not it was not um i've shot 380s that have a bigger punch than this don't believe me? Go get one and shoot it. Um, what I like about this is it shoots the 410 shotgun shells, and it also shoots the Colt 45s. Now, uh, it doesn't shoot the ACP, the 45 ACP, just the Colt 45s. Um, I think the uh, Smith & Wesson's version of this shoots all of them, but... I really like this. Um, I got a nice 1791 leather holster for this. It fits really well. Looks good. You can put it to your belt. Um, but this is a really good gun. Let me show you the Colt 45s. I got some nice little, this is Hornady. Um, this is a Colt 45. I don't know if you can see that, that tip and it's just a beast of a bullet right there. Uh, I've got another one. Hollow point. That's a big hollow point. So the Colt 45s, they're just a nice big bullet. I'll put it there on the table. So you can see it, but this gun also shoots the 410 shotgun shells. Now, it shoots the two and a half inch. However, so here's a two and a half inch shotgun shell. So 410 shotgun shell. It shoots this. However, before I realized it was a two and a half inch shotgun shell, um, I shot the three inch out of it. The, or the regular size, I believe it was three inch, out of this. And the only thing that it did was when I went to get get rid of it and eject the shell, it was stuck. I had to like pry it out a little bit. It, it didn't want to come out very easy. So I would recommend the two and a half inch. But I got some really neat, uh, what I love about the uh, shotgun shells is you can get the bird shot, the... Uh, the buck shot, the, you name it. And so, look at that, that's another one. This is a bird shot, but this is a buck. Just like a little slug in there, you know? Really nasty gun. However, like I said, this gun does not have a very big kick. And what I will do is I will do another video of me shooting this gun. And then I'll shoot another gun that's smaller. <laughs> And you could see the difference. Like, it's unreal. I did not believe then that the uh, impact would be absorbed into that grip right there. But apparently it is. I'm not sure how. And it doesn't have a very big kick. But this is a hand cannon. If you're looking for a uh, home defense, look no further. The judge. Public defender. All right, you guys. Hope you liked the video. Remember to like and subscribe.